Hi there, Paul here from Spitfire Audio. I'm very excited today to be able to show you Hauschka Composer Toolkit. Made in collaboration with Oscar-nominated, world-renowned composer and soundsmith Volker Bertelmann, who you will know from his work on the films Lion and Adrift, this multifaceted toolkit can add great depth, tension and texture to your tracks. Unique soundscapes from epic industrial rhythms and thundering bass lines to offbeat atonal plucks and beautiful shimmering pads. Performed on a Steinway Model D Grand with over 40 preparations and expertly sampled at the legendary Voxton Studios in Berlin, our ambition was to capture the sound world and creative spirit of a true innovator. This is absolutely not a prepared piano library in the way that you might expect from hearing those words. This is a creative exchange, an opportunity for you to collaborate with a one of a kind. The library includes effects from Francesco's enviable modular rig, Hauschka's own pedal board system, Spitfire's distortion techniques, and the Binson Echo Rec, a tape delay made famous by Pink Floyd in the 1970s. Let's jump straight in. So let's look through the grid section of the library. First up is the plug hits grid. Now, if we check in the advanced section here and open the plug hits folder, you'll see all the different types of preparation that have gone into the creation of these individual sounds. So those correspond to the evolutions within the Evo grid. And again, as usual, you can select a complete evolution across the whole keyboard, or you can go in and randomize. So let's start by having a listen through some of these different sounds. So while we're on this first sound, let's just check out a few of these different treatments. So first up is Hashka's pedal board. Second up is the distorted feed. And finally, we have Francesco's modular rig. So even within the first preparation here, there's a huge variety of sound just available on the grid. So let's go back to the mix signal and check out a few of the other sounds. Fantastic ping pong ball treatment going on there. So that's the natural sound of the piano. And then finally, we have the wood mutes um, on Evo 8. OK, so next up, the plug rhythm grid. So this is the kind of corresponding rhythmic treatment that goes with that first grid, the plug hits. So with these plugs, it sounds like this. So you get the idea, you can build up some really interesting, useful rhythms with this. If we go into the second one, have a check out this one. Mm -hmm. 
So everything's been treated uniquely and to find kind of rhythms that work really well with the individual sound treatments. Where that also follows through is that the pedals and the modular rig treatments have also been tuned in for each different evolution. So if we jump over now to the pedal version of this. So as you can hear, Hashka has selected a rhythm that works really well for the individual type of treatment that you're using on the piano. Um, and this follows through to the pedal board mix uh, and treatment that he used, but also to Francesco's modular system uh, mix. So if we check out the pedal treatment for this third evolution. Very different to the previous pedal system that we had. And then if we listen to the modular rig version. And just for comparison, let's jump forward to the fourth Evo. And as you can hear, that's very different. And going back to the pedal system. So it's really just creatively honing in on the character of the sound and working out what combination of pedal boards and what combination of modular elements works best for that exact sound. So it's a huge amount of variety in there. If we randomize within the grid and go back to the mix sound, uh, check this out. And checking that out through the pedal boards. And you can hear in that the different treatments giving you a really textured sound. So moving on, the third grid in the library is the pad sounds grid. Now this is designed to give you um, more of a kind of pad, playable pad type sound. Let's just jump straight in. And if you, this is where the section with the effects on board really starts to come into their own. So if you create a nice mix, maybe we'll use a little bit of the modular signal in there, give it a bit of reverb and delay, you can get this kind of effect. And again, we could mix up all of the different sounds that we've got in here and see what that sounds like. And we can randomize within the grid to get an even more deeply textured sound. So going back to a single evolution and changing up the balance of the mics that we've got, we get this kind of effect. And again, all of these are hand played, so you've got a real nice kind of undulation, different, slightly different timings in each, in each section and each performance um, to give you a, a nice rich sound. Let's just check out on the main mix a 
couple of the other pad variations in here. So if we put in some of the pedal board sounds in this one. See that the high frequencies give you a really interesting. It's almost like the rosin effect on um, with string samples when you get the bows and you really can kind of tune in and hear the sound of the rosin. Really interesting sound. And the final evolution here. And checking out the modular. Really lovely kind of cloud of sound. If we pull back in the main mix. All of the mics are automatable, so you can get these really interesting kind of changes within the sound as well as or you can control them very easily from your MIDI CC controllers here so that you can kind of play with one hand while you mix the different sounds with your other hand. So let's jump on to the next section which is pad hit. So again this one goes with the pad sounds grid. So you'll see that this comes in our more traditional BML interface rather than the Evo grid interface. I'm just going to take you quickly through the different mic sounds here. That's your main mix. There's a super close mix as well. You've got your pedal board as before. Distorted signal. Which is great, almost kind of like guitar like in its quality. Um, we've got our Echo Rec. that beautiful kind of slightly destroyed sound about it. And finally the modular. So some really fantastic stuff there. Let's go back to the mix and listen to the other sounds. So these are the scratch hits.
and also the tambourine hits. So it's quite nice to get a kind of um, rhythmic idea. Get a really interesting kind of texture going with that. But also, if we start mixing up some of these signals again, put a little bit of super close in and then go for pedal and modular. So Swell's Grid up next, and that is simply the same techniques, um, but using this kind of swelling in and out. Which sounds really great through some of the treatments as well. Modular rig. And finally, our most distorted sound. Sounds really nice as well. So checking out some of these other techniques. and randomizing the grid. And again, as before, we can change up the mix here, get a little bit more of these treated versions, put a bit more reverb and delay on. from cleaner sound. So as you can hear, there's a huge amount of creative possibility within these things. Everything from, you know, kind of really melodic, beautiful, kind of sparkly, twinkly sounds through to really kind of aggressive, dark, um, almost atonal stuff. There is a section here, the sixth section of the library so far, which is the drum kit. Now I'm going to start with the super close. We've got two patches in here. There's the percussive drum kit here and then drum kit full range. And we'll, I'll show you what that means in a minute. So 
So each sound, each note of the keyboard has been given a separate different treatment to give it a much more percussive sound. Um, and if we go to the full range, you can hear that you've got um, all the way down to the bottom of the keyboard there, or down to the bottom of the piano. And there's some great stuff down there as well. Now, looking at that stuff through the different mics, so here's the mix signal. Um, here is the pedal board signal. Distorted. Echo Rec. Which gives me that kind of vibe of um, maybe the kind of Goldsmith Planet of the Apes or... Um, that Nick Rogue film, Don't Look Now, things like that. It's, it's, get, it's got that sound because it's, you know, the equipment from that era. It gives you that immediate sense of place. And that, by contrast, obviously brings us right to now. Some great modular treatments. So you've got tons and tons of great stuff in there. You can also whack up the reverb here and really get a, you know, a bigger reverb sound in there. So as I mentioned before, in the advanced folder at the top, you've got all of those, but just split up individually into separate sections. So you can also see exactly what was used to create each individual sound for the Evos. But if we go to the artist preset section, there are some absolutely fantastic presets in here. And I'm going to play you a few of my favorites. So you see there are two types of presets. There's the type that come within the what we call the Mercury engine with all the different effects on there. And then there are presets that are built within the grid as well. So if we go to another one of the Mercury engine presets. And finally, So that's a brief look through Hauschka Composer Toolkit, your opportunity to collaborate 
with a true artist. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the like button and leave a comment. If you want to keep up to date with all of our new content and releases, make sure you subscribe and ding that bell icon to get a notification when we put new video content up. Thank you very much for watching. See you on the next one. Bye-bye.